if things are going to work out for him, he will usually switch back to Mars or he will switch uh, switch to Fox. But I think just because it's a ditto, uh, a lot of ditto situations end up being a little personal. You know, your main versus the other person's main, same character, so you got to prove that you're better. I think that's at least how that works. So, Falcons on Yoshi's. This should be a pretty short match. All right, looking for the side B, going up there. Looking for the knee. And Torben's not exactly sure how to approach here. Looking for the nair. So, Rick's going to ride the side B in, it looks like. It's uh, working for him so far. Oh, and he agrees to not get up. All right, there we go. And an SD uh, didn't really come out of that. Not sure if this is for real yet. I believe it is. All right. Uh, bear on shield, spacing it out. The wave dash back, running straight up to the uh, to the grab, the throw. See the side B again connecting on Torben. Uh, he's not exactly used to having a lot of people use side B on him, because I believe uh, not a lot of Falcons will ride side B that hard. It's three side B so far that have worked. Up smash to the platform, not going to connect. All right, looking for the knee there, but it didn't exactly get. And the side B off stage, which is going to end up for another SD for Rook. Torben hasn't taken any stocks legit this time. It's mostly been uh, SDs from uh, Rook. And the reverse knee taking him off the right side. So going up to the Nair. They're going to trade some Nairs, trade some spacing, try to get the side B, get stuffed by a Nair. And going to look for the high, high dare on the platform. And an SD. Gets caught in the back air as he's falling down, which is uh, not good. So, one SD stock taken by Rook. All right, reads the tech roll straight in into the dare. Soft knee uh, reset into the uh, dare there. All right, uh, didn't complete the gen gentleman's. Uh, looking for the uh, crouch cancel. Uh, trying to get those uh, up airs to chain something together, but it's not really working. Dare moves him off the platform. A bear catches him uh, moving back towards center stage, and that'll take the stock with the ledge guard. So Torben 69% to his next stock, and Rook on his last stock. And answers the side B that time. He's starting to warm up to what Rook's doing. Uh, what didn't get the uh, ledge guard time. He's able to recover. He drifting back airs. And uh, catches him with a side B in the knee, so now we have a tie game. Save for the 66% that Rook has on his stock. Oh, got the high knee there. That was kind of a weird connection. All right, so now they're going to do this. Oh, looking for the knee there, but it's not going to connect. Uh, side B in, gets stuffed again by a jab. Side B. Torben will through that knee. And they're both looking for Nairs and the up air. Will this be enough? It will be. And that will put the end to uh, game one. A little bit longer than I thought it would be. Usually uh, every time you see two Falcons and Yoshis, it's, uh, it's usually a pretty open and shut match. Usually a knee will take a, take a stock at 70% there. So for the most part, there was a lot of SDs in that match. Hopefully they'll play a little bit cleaner next time. I'm eager to see what the counter pick's going to be, if they're going to head back to Yoshi's or they're going to pick a different stage. They're going to head straight back to Yoshi's. And the uh, C-Stick tilts. We have a net play veteran here. All right, I'm not sure why they're going to restart here. Uh, maybe they're going to ask for a neutral or something. or am not exactly sure what the deal is. Yeah, they're still headed back to Yoshi, so it wasn't a stage error. They were just uh, wondering what what happened. So there we go. Uh, side B up there into the dare follow-up. Rolls right through. There we go. Oh, gets stuffed by the up air from Rook. So far, Rook's looking pretty solid there, as long as he doesn't ride a side B's like last game and uh, can approach a little bit better. Especially with the uh, second hit of Nair, this seems to be pretty, uh, pretty important. Can't read the knee. Just moved out. Oh, there's, there we go. Uh, Falcons recovery. Always going to be his downfall, even against other Falcons. So if we remove this frame 14, it sure does have a lot of guarantees that go up with it. And the SD, uh, the slope of Yoshi's causing that, I believe. Uh, side B gets moved up. He gets stuffed trying to uh, punish that. Torben, that is. Uh, side B again. And now this time it's answered with a grab. 
And then Rook answers it with his own grab. Always trying to get those up airs coming up off stage, Torben's recovery. That's kind of where he gets it. He's used to people not really respecting the space the cap or that the captain can cover. And uh, for it again. So one thing that's really happening here is, uh, okay, the wall jumps straight into it, gives him stage position, keeps him alive here, and is able to smash the eye, but the up air will take it. So now we're uh, Torben, fresh three, three stocks. Gonna bait it out, not really gonna follow up anymore. He's always waiting for those side Bs now. Uh, so he's gotta get more creative with the use, Rook, that, uh, or he needs to, uh, Needs to cut out using them. Because Torben will adapt. All right, and he makes it back. Answers with the up air. So knocks him right out of the forward smash. The knee will take that stock. We have 3-1 three, three here in this game. Uh, not really looking good for Rook. Maybe he'll get lucky in Torbinal SD or something, but it's not really looking too good for him. Uh, tech straight out of that dare. All right, side B. He just waits, and that's going to be no. All right, so the up B will take that. He gets a soft knee, looking for the hard knee there. Would have put the in, put an end to it. All right, here we go, and that should take that. No, it won't. Gets his double jump back. I'm going to read that, and that is a 2-0 Torben.